all right welcome to this channel in this video i'll be um, solving this problem this is a task uh, titled coding fury road and um, this is just a follow-up of my previous video um, in my previous video i was able to create um, a readme file i've been able to clone my repository named software precourse and I've been able to create a readme file in that directory and so now I want to do the following task the first thing is to create a new directory called 01-git in your software precourse repo so all I need to do is just to fire up my web terminal now the, in my web terminal you can see that I've been able to successfully clone this um, repository software precourse and I'm already inside it. I've already been able to change directory to um, this. So I have to just make a new directory and um, we can make directory and um, that will be 01 hyphen git. All right. So that directory has been made successfully. And so to be sure that it was made, I just list the content of this new directory using ls and as you can see 01 I think git has been created. So all I need to do, the question said I should inside after creating this directory, he said you've been able to create the readme. Yes, I did this in my previous video. Now I said inside this new directory that has been created, create these directories bash c and js. So I move into this um directory 01 hyphen git and I change my directory to 01 hyphen git and um, you can see I'm running inside the directory and I create this new directory smic directory bash c and js so to be sure that those directories have been created I list the content of this and you can see I have these three directories bash c and js so what next am I to do is create this empty file. So I'm to create empty files inside my C directory. I should create a file known as C is fun.c. Um, inside my JS directory, I'm to create a file known as main.js. And inside my JS directory still, I'm to create another file known as index.js. So all I need to do is just navigate into my C directory and create this empty file. So inside my C directory, um, I just change directory to my C directory. And you can see I'm now inside my C directory. You can see that here. And inside this directory, I, I um, create the empty file touch. And what is the type? What is the name of the file? It says C is phone dot C. So let me list the content of this directory, and you can see this file has been created. The next thing inside I should do is that inside my JS file, I should create main dot JS and index dot JS. So all I need to do is just to get out of C directory. And to go back, I have to just go to the previous directory by using cd space dot dot. And now I'm back to my 01 underscore um, 01 I think it's directory. And there I create two empty files. I create two empty files. And the two empty files will be. Um, okay, before I create the two files, I have to first of all navigate into my JS directory. So I navigate into my JS directory. And inside this JS directory, I create two empty files. Touch. The first one is main.js and the second one is um, index.js. So you can create two files at a go using your touch command. And um, let me clear the screen so I have more space to type. Okay, so listing the content of JS after I have to, I use ls to. Okay. Okay. ls. So list the content of uh, js and i can see these two directories so the next question is saying create a file bash okay my bash directory that i've created before create a, an empty file software with okay software with these two lines all right this and this so i quickly do i go back i go into my bash directory and i create the software um, file so go back to my original directory and that's 01 git then inside there i navigate into bash 
all right now i'm inside bash then inside bash i have to create a file known as software so touch empty file software some other people may decide to use echo but now i'm using touch so you can see listing the content of this you can see it's like on bash you can see software is already created and empty file so inside this software file i have to put the content what is the content this and echo software so doing that that's not i just use echo echo what is the content i'm echoing this uh, bean slash bash all right i'm echoing this into my um software file so this is going to be i'm echoing this content inside this file once i press enter you can see that to check if it was done successfully i just use cat software and um, you are going to see this content inside already now the question said i should put we should do that on two lines the first line should be this and the second line should be echo software so doing the same thing i just echo now what is the content of this second line that's to be echo um, software you have don't forget to end with your second quote um, this one to show that this that is the content of this um of this file software now i put it on the second line so it will be double of this symbol do greater than twice to show that we're putting that in the second line and i'm gonna put it software all right that's to be lowercase not uppercase so software when you press your enter you can check the content of software now and um all right and you can see we have those two lines already this and this all right the question says we should do something similar again all right inside your create a file inside the bash create a new file school we need two lines and this so this is invariably the same thing this um what you did in this what you did here is what you are going to do again so instead of repeating the same thing i think i'll just continue to the next line the next um, instruction is add all these new files to git and i told you in my previous video that to add you just use the command git dot add git add sorry git add um space dots all right git add dot so that way you've added to to git but before you can successfully see your files in git you have to do some other things and the, the question says commit your changes you have to commit your changes using this uh, message starting to code today so cool so let me quickly commit and i use this command git commit and it says starting to code today comma so cool and of course i ended put that in my second code when i press enter now because i i have not configured this with my username and pass and password so i'll just do that i've saved that already on my um, notepad i just simply copy this and do that i did that in my previous video but because i started afresh there's need for me to do that again so you don't understand what i'm doing you can check my previous video i did exactly the same thing in my previous video and i just have to do it because i'm starting afresh again on a fresh web terminal and so i've done that successfully let me clear the screen to make things okay once i've done that i have to commit again anytime you do that you have to commit again so that um, your commit to be successful the previous one was not successful because i didn't configure and the question the, the message he said the message should be starting to code today so cool so that's my commit message starting to code today so cool all right so now commit was successful one file change two insertions and once you are done with this you just simply push git push so because the question said commit this and push to your remote server so we have to push this to our remote server by using command git push i want you to do that 
clothes 100 percent successful and now you can go to your repository in my repository let me go to this repository that i'm working with um, i'm working with software precourse and remember in my previous video i opened um, a file readme then also this is what we did now hit and um, we have starting to code today so cool okay the there's a part of the question i didn't do correctly the question said add all these new files to git you can see that here i only added the file that is inside bash so i have to go back to this directory cd okay so that i'm add everything so i have to start afresh add git add so then i have to commit again i think i have this message i get commit so let me just copy it and use it again all right commit okay three changes i've committed and the last thing is to push git push all right so successful 100 percent and so if i go to my repository and click on software precourse I'm to see this again. Zero one gets I see three folders I created bash C and JS. If I open my bash, I will see software inside there. If I open software, I will see these two lines of code. So uh, I did that successfully. And um, if I come here again, you see see bash inside my JS. I'll see two files index.js and main.js that I created. So you see how from our web terminal, from our terminal, um, from our shell, I was able to to push my folders uh, that i created in the repository to my github server uh, so that's the way to do that uh, so thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe to this channel share with your friends click on the like button thank you